We now have downlink from Space Shuttle Atlantis. And there you can see the entire International Space Station complex there. If you look at the top, Atlantis currently casting a shadow on the solar arrays. The team here confirming that the fly around has begun. STS-132 pilot Tony Antonelli now at the controls from Atlantis' flight deck. He will begin to fly Atlantis around the entire circle of the International Space Station. The two vehicles are currently out over the Pacific Ocean. They are bearing down on the western edge of Mexico here in a few minutes. And they'll be crossing over North America as this fly around takes place. Space Shuttle Atlantis and the International Space Station there uh, staring each other down at a distance of 458 feet. Once again, pilot Tony Antonelli at the controls of Atlantis beginning this fly around procedure. The uh, first rays of sunshine there hitting the upper atmosphere of the Earth as the station and the shuttle were out over the Pacific Ocean. If you look very closely, you can see some of the jets at the back of Atlantis uh, firing. If this STS-132 flight does indeed turn out to be Atlantis's final mission, this will be the last time that we actually get to see a uh, full shot of the shuttle up in space from these space station cameras.
The shuttle's now 506 feet away from the International Space Station. This fly around is continuing with STS-132 pilot Tony Antonelli at the controls. Antonelli is uh, flying Atlantis up over the first quadrant of this entire circle that uh, he will steer Atlantis. He's completed about the first uh, 40 degrees. This is a view from inside Atlantis's orbiter docking system looking back at uh, the former home of the shuttle, pressurized mating adapter number two. There on the left, you can see the Columbus Laboratory. There on the right, uh, very obvious, is the Kibo Laboratory with its logistics module up on top. This is a view of Atlantis with its open payload bay doors. Down inside is the integrated cargo carrier, the only piece that Atlantis is bringing back home. The old batteries that the crew swapped out during two of the spacewalks of this mission are on the back side of it. The robotic arm there extended out over Atlantis's left side with the orbiter boom sensor system still attached to it, crossed back over the payload bay. Now the Pacific Ocean down underneath both Atlantis and the station at this point in time, the two vehicles are 212 miles. Continuing to pass to the northeast, they're approaching the western edge of Mexico here in about two minutes. Atlanta is now 550 feet away from the station, uh, continuing to rise above the U.S. segment. You can see all the modules there at the forward portion, the Columbus on the left, Kibo on the right, Harmony there in the middle. Moving backward is Destiny, Unity there uh, where the truss structure crosses over. And you can also see the Russian segment there stretching back uh, toward the back. Getting our first views now of the Soyuz TMA-18, which is mounted back there on the Poisk docking compartment there at the back. You can also see the Soyuz TMA-17. That is the one that is due to come back home to Earth coming up on June 1st. Expedition 23 Flight Engineer T.J. Creamer, Soichi Noguchi, and Expedition 23 Commander Oleg Kotov will crawl inside uh, that vehicle, which brought them up to the station about six months ago. Go ahead, Hawk. Hey, is it cloudy outside today? <laughs> Dude, there's no windows in here. <laughs> it was clear this morning. Yeah, ask, uh, ask weather or something, because we're going to fly right overhead. We might get a pretty awesome picture here. We'll see what we can find out.
And Atlantis for downlink cameras. Uh, we're looking at the center line camera right now. We're wondering if one of the payload bay cameras might have a better view. Whatever you're sending us now looks much better. Thank you very much. And the weather report is. There partly you go, cloudy. Delta. I'm sorry, I stepped on you. You said partly cloudy? That's right. Sweet, thanks. And line is now 587 feet away from the station, almost directly above it. You can see very clearly the entire 357 feet wingspan of the station's solar arrays. You can see the radiators there on either side, pointing back toward uh, and running parallel to the Russian segment. And as we mentioned, looking almost directly down on the Soyuz TMA-18. And you can see the Soyuz TMA-17 back there at the back of the Zvezda service module. The two vehicles, 212 miles above the Pacific Ocean, approaching the western edge of Mexico. It'll be going just to the north of uh, Monterey, and then crossing the border between Mexico and Texas, uh, just to the northwest of Laredo. It'll be making almost a uh, direct cross from the southwest to the northeast across Texas, just to the west of San Antonio over the Texas Hill Country, and then uh, directly in between Dallas and Tyler over Interstate 20 before heading up over Arkansas. Atlanta is now outside of 600 feet away from the station, this 360-degree uh, maneuver with STS-132 pilot Tony Antonelli at the controls is continuing. This is Mission Control Houston, the western edge of Mexico coming into view now. The station and the shuttle 213 miles above the Earth are passing directly in between Mazatlan and Puerto Vallarta. It's a fairly cloudless day there on the coast of Mexico. The two vehicles continuing to pass to the northeast. They're heading toward Texas.
and land is now 650 feet away from the station. The uh, shuttle passing over the Russian segment. And the two spacecraft just crossing the uh, edge of Texas. They're passing over the cities of Uvalde, Kerrville, Fredericksburg, Killeen. It'll go over uh, Corsicana right there on Interstate 45. And then cross right in the middle of Dallas and Tyler. Now 684 feet away from the station, Atlantis continuing to perform this fly around maneuver with STS-132 pilot Tony Antonelli at the controls from the flight deck. The two spacecraft uh, just passing from Texas into Arkansas, going over uh, hot springs at this point in time. They will uh, cross the very southeastern tip of Missouri and then head over parts of uh, Kentucky and then into uh, Indiana. Can I call it most? This is a view from onboard the International Space Station that is part of the mobile base system. The uh, communications and tracking officers here inside Mission Control are uh, attempting to steer the cameras around a bit to see if they can capture Atlantis. The shuttle currently over the Russian segment approaching the Zvezda service module coming up in just a few seconds.
Once again, this is a sequential still video from Atlantis. This is uh, what we get when we don't have high uh, data rate communication with the shuttle. So you will see the image change every few seconds. Atlantis now 693 feet away from the station. Getting uh, very close to being lined up with the very back end of the Zvezda service module. And the Soyuz TMA-17 that is currently docked there. Houston Station on 2 for PDGF still. Go ahead, Tracy. Please, Ronnie, uh, PDGF's uh, doing a nice job wrapping up this uh, PDGF per the procedure. And as uh, he's winding bubble wrap around the pin, it made me wonder where the actual cover is for the pin. Uh, if Wheels and I uh, practiced this in the pool many times carrying this out, there was a protective, a hard shell, a clamshell cover that went over this pin to protect it. And um, it's, my, it's my understanding that it's actually here on board somewhere and we were going to install it prior to going out the door. And wondered why we're not finding that and installing it instead of trying to tape bubble wrap around it. This is Mission Control Houston, Atlantis, now crossing the 700 feet mark away from the station. There you see his current position. It is about to pull around the back end of the Zvezda service module, and then it continued down below the Russian segment. At that point, the crew will get their first views of the Progress 37 that is currently docked with the pier's docking compartment as well as the newly installed Zarya, the uh, Rosfit module that's on Zarya. Atlantis now almost directly in line with the Russian segment, the aftermost portion of it, of the International Space Station. The uh, distance now 638 feet. The uh, crew on board Atlantis continuing to take some photos of the entire uh, complex as they get a one-of-a-kind view during this fly around. After this fly around is complete, Atlantis will complete a series of separation maneuvers that will take it away from the vicinity of the station. The first of those coming up in 24 minutes. <laughs> 